Qatar, ancient Qatar fell many centuries ago, but its dead still walk the land. Learn what it takes to be a necromancer. Okay. Sure. I will. Lead on. Pass the test of the veil. I'm out of the way, I guess. Oh, okay. Each of the colors is to build up mana for a particular character's element type. So by matching yellows, it fills up the mana color for characters on my team with yellow, which in this case would be Goblin Rocket. Reds would also fill up his. Green fills up for green characters. Blue for blue, brown for brown, and purple for purple. I don't have any purple characters, so that I do anything, but... There, the skulls are your primary attack skill. So whenever you make a match of three, it does damage to the first character on your opponent's team based on the attack level of the first character on your team. So in my case, I would have an attack level of 19, 47 defense, armor, and 57 health. So if I make a match of skulls, I would do 19 damage to the first person on their team. Hey there, good morning, King Retro. Thank you very much for the lurk. Hope you're doing well this morning. Good Tuesday. The other skulls, those ones, the, the ones with the spiky horns, are effectively the same thing, except that they explode when you make matches on them. I think they also do a base level of extra 5 damage just for including them in a match. Ultimate aim is to remove of your opponent's players from the team before they do the same to you. 
typically I focus more on trying to make matches of four or more so that way I can continue my turns longer. And if my particular character on the team has a skill that for every time I make a match of four or five, gains two life and magic, which improves the strength of her particular skill. So then the strategy of the game comes in from being able to build a team that is able to make the best use of their skills together. Yeah, by make, matching the X5 skull there, it actually causes them to explode. And does a little bit extra bonus damage that way. Most characters, when they use their skills, usually end their turn as well. But the goblins actually get to take turns afterwards, which is why I like having them on the team. for that. Oh, on their mana pictures in the corners? Yeah, the numbers are the how much mana they need to fill up their um, skills. We need to make effectively nine round matches to be able to use this skill. However, if you're at a certain threshold experience, you're able to get whatever mana surge, which could potentially increase the amount you get per match. So off of that single match, I only got three, so I just need six more to be able to use his skill. So the goblin, green goblin there, the regular goblin, only needs six. However, one of his skills gains bonus green mana from green matches, and my team also has a banner which increases the amount of mana I get. So from a single three, I can actually get six. So that instantly fills his meter. Which with him being able to take a turn immediately afterwards, makes him useful for being able to do a lot of quick strikes. So he has 6 out of 11, would need to match 5, but by matching these 3, the odds are I'd get a mana surge. Nope, not quite. But he does gain some extra mana as well from one of his skills. 
But it wasn't quite enough to fill it to 11. Yeah. Goblin is not especially a stronger character, but the benefit is is because he's not that strong, he's not having to fill up 15 like a stronger character would need to do their skill. He only needs to do six, which you can fill up in one match. That's the Goblin Rocket skill I use primarily just to move the field around to help make more useful matches in between turns. at the moment. Let's have to take him out. And not every character's skills are specifically attack based. Mine all are, but that's just because I like being damage, but more strategically minded individual. You can have them do a number of other different skills like refilling health, you know, removing your opponent's armor. Or like this Sphinx character here who just jumbles the board. Seven enough to take her out. Lucky match. Not that his skill wasn't likely to turn the battle, but... I have... Mm, yep. Okay.
Thanks, Alistair. The secrets to immortality. 